Use the given information to write the equation in point slope form and slope intercept form. We're given that it's passing through negative 2, negative 7, and it must be parallel to this line that has an equation negative 5x plus 4. Parallel means that we want to come, come up with an equation that has the same slope as this one. So this right here is not going to be the answer to our question. We want to come up with another line that has the same slope as this one but also must pass through negative 2, negative 7. Okay, so first we want to use the point slope form on this one and so we have the x1, y1 that's given to us there already but I want to find the m that we're going to use. Well, because we want to find the m that's got to be parallel to this one the m that I'm going to use on this one is going to have to be negative 5. I want it to be the same slope as this one. So now we just put this into the point slope formula. Okay, I have y minus y1, that's y minus the negative 7, that's going to be plus 7. And then I have negative 5 times x minus a negative or x plus 2. This right here is the correct point slope formula. Now we want to find the slope intercept form y plus 7 equals, we have negative 5x minus 10 and then we're going to solve this for y by subtracting 7 from both sides. So when we subtract 7 from both sides we get negative 5x minus 17. So this is going to be the correct slope intercept form. Part B, it's passing through negative 4, 2 and it's perpendicular this time to y equals 1 third x plus 7. Okay, so again, like last time, I'm given x1 and y1, but this time I want to find a slope that is perpendicular to this one. Now, the now perpendicular slope means it's going to have the opposite reciprocal slope. In this case, the original slope that was given to us was one-third. If I want to find a slope that has an opposite reciprocal slope to this one, that means the m that I want to use in my formula, opposite of this, which means I have opposite sign, which means that I have to use a negative. Reciprocal means that I'm going to flip the fraction. So 1 over 3 flips and it's going to turn into negative 3. So therefore, a line that has a, uh, it's perpendicular to this one will have a slope of negative 3. Now we're just going to put it into the point slope formula. y minus y1, so y minus 2 is equal to m, negative 3. x minus x1, negative and negative will give you a plus 4. This right here is going to be the point slope formula and now we want to solve for y to get it into slope intercept form. We distribute the negative 3, negative 3x minus 12 and now we're going to add 2 to both sides. So add 2 here, both sides and I get y equals negative 3x. When I add that it's going to give us negative 10. This is going to be the correct slope intercept form. So we have point slope is this equation right here with a plus and this one's going to be the slope intercept form. Part C. Passing through 5, negative 9 and it's perpendicular to this equation here x plus 7y minus 12 equals 0. Now what makes this different from the previous parts that we did is this time it doesn't give us the problem in slope intercept form. So therefore we want to first solve this one and find out what the equation or what the slope is and so that way I can tell which one would be perpendicular to that one. So first I'm going to solve this for y. So, uh, to do that I'm going to move the x and the 12 across the equal sign. Both of them change signs. So I get negative x here and this is going to give me positive 12. Now I'm going to divide everything by 7 and I get y equals, I can write this as negative 1 seventh x, that's how this can be interpreted, plus 12 over 7. I don't care about the 12 sevenths, I'm only concerned about this right here. This is a slope of the original line that was given, negative 1 seventh. The new line that I want to come up with that goes through 5, 9 must be perpendicular to this one. So if it's perpendicular, I need to figure out what the correct slope is going to be. Well, I know that it's going to have the opposite sign as this. So instead of negative, it's going to be positive. Plus, I have to flip the fraction. So, it should have a slope of 7 for it to be perpendicular. It has opposite sign and it's, it's reciprocal. Now, I'm going to use the point slope formula. y minus y1, the y1 
Uh, I've already labeled here as negative 9, so minus and minus is plus. Y plus 9 is going to equal the M is 7, and that's going to be times X minus X1. The X1 is 5, and so right here, this is going to be the point slope formula. That's the first part, first answer they're looking for. But I have to keep going because I want to solve this for Y to get it into slope intercept form. To do that, I'm going to distribute the 7. I get 7x minus 35, and then I'm going to subtract 9 from both sides, and I get y equals 7x minus 44. So this is going to be the slope intercept form. So here's your two answers point slope, and that one's going to be slope intercept.